San Andreas magnitude 7.8 earthquake, what would happen? This is a simulation, a quake simulation of Southern California with a magnitude 7.8 scenario. This is simulation by USGS. And you can see on the left-hand side of the map as it starts from the south. And uh, the early shaking would be that purple position heading north on San Andreas. And in the right-hand side, you can see the colors in the far mountain ranges around the 1 or 2 o'clock position. And the color changing coming in towards the purple. In the far distance, you can see the green and the yellow, orange. And it'll quickly come sweeping the purple, blue-purple color towards US 101, as you can see right here. There it goes, okay. And you'll be surprised how quickly the heavy shaking comes. As you can see, everything is pretty stable right now. And it's approaching Oxnard in that area around 3 o'clock. And you'll notice mountain ranges on the uh, west of the map. And you'll see what happens to that in the scenario. Of course, the coast is towards our five, six o'clock position. And here we have the shaking, the shaking coming in, as you can see. The land, okay, now the, the whole of that area is shaking. Now even the mountains, as you can see, they're popping up and down. And here we have the heavy shaking going on, and it's going to get much stronger. As you can see, it's behaving like a soup. It's uh, liquefaction as well that's taking place there. Look at this. The land comes all the way down towards the end of the screen and comes back up again and also inflates and sinks. This is um, in the time span of 142 seconds from the initiation of the earthquake from the south. Now the Great Southern California Shakeout Earthquake Drill based on magnitude 7.8 scenario Earthquake on the San Andreas Fault in Southern California. This portion of the San Andreas Fault has been identified as the most likely source of a very large earthquake in California. Uh, this uh, simulation was made before the Ridgecrest earthquake of July 4th and 5th, 2019. This was about an, uh, a year before that. This Shakeout scenario was made 11 September 2018, posted. So it was about a year before the Ridgecrest earthquakes. Nevertheless, it is um, realistic. Now, as part of the earthquake drill, computer simulations of the ground shaking from this scenario earthquake were constructed through a collaboration effort between the USGS and the Southern California Earthquake Center, SCEC which involved researchers from the USGS, URS Corporation, San Diego State University, and Carnegie Mellon University. And these computer simulations captured the shaking at length scales larger than about 300 feet, that's 100 meters, and provide detailed pictures of the shaking for this scenario earthquake. The magnitude 7.8 scenario earthquake ruptured 186 miles, or 300 kilometers, of the San Andreas Fault from Bombay Beach at the edge of the Salton Sea in the south to Lake Hughes northwest of Palmdale in the north. And the final slip offset across the fault ranges from 6 to 23 feet, thus from 2 to 7 meters. The colors in the movies indicate the peak intensity of the shaking up to the current time at each location. And the movies are available to uh, two different resolutions. The normal resolution versions are typically 10 to 20 MB in size and high definition as well, 50 to 80 MB in size. And the images and movies are uh, from U.S. Geological Survey in Southern California 
Earthquake Center. Okay, here we have the wave action coming in stronger again. There we go. San Andreas Fault, as we can see. And uh, the Bay Area, of course, is rocking and inflating, going back and forth. Uh, one thing we don't see in the simulation, okay, here they have US 101. Um, what happens to it? I mean, the, the strange thing about the map is that they show all the uh, buildings and uh, infrastructure, the roads uh, swinging with the, with the wave action. But I don't know how much of this would still be standing after all this shaking, as you can understand. So here we go again. It's coming in from Salt and Sea. And the initial wave, the color being blue purple, is coming from the San Andreas Fault, as you can see, sweeping over. And this is 20, about 30 seconds after the initial shaking from Salton Sea. And it's coming over the mountains, as you can see, it takes it's about 10, 20 seconds after the initiation. Okay, and it's coming, it'll quickly flush over to US 101 that we hear, see here at 6 o'clock position. That's the bay right there. And now it's coming, okay, now it's come over the whole area. As you can see, the color has changed. And everything is pretty still. And then it starts shaking. Even the mountains will start rolling again, as we saw before. Again, this is a simulation based on the calculations by USGS and you and the SCEC. Okay, now it's moving, as you can see. The whole area is moving. Even the mountains are crumbling, as you can see at the six, seven o'clock position. Cracking or, or popping, as you would say. Okay, here, this is a tremendous amount of wave action starts. We're at the 122nd mark. And this is uh, a tremendous amount of shaking, as you can see. Now, the infrastructure is still shown to be standing there. Look at this. It's even going up and down and squashing and come back, coming back out again. Um as if this is a tremendous amount of liquefaction, as if you're stirring a soup, actually. And um, I don't know how much of the infrastructure would be standing after all this. Again, this is a simulation that we're talking about. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.